All right, we have our toughest test to date. Going up against the Virginia Tech Hokies. And you take a look at that, that defense. It's screaming 95, so much better than ours. And they have only given up three points a game, leading the nation in defense. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm a little nervous. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. Uh, and it just so happens that our QB, our main QB, our guy, Jack Goff, is going, look at this, man. They got 93, 93, 92 overalls. And I'm over here with an 80. And Jack Goff is my 82, but he's hurt. And uh, Harambe being to is just a beast. So I'm a little nervous heading on into this game. Uh, even though they're not ranked, they're still one of the top teams in the nation. And this right here would solidify what I would like to think a bow game for us. You know, we went ahead and we beat uh, number 24, Northern Illinois. Uh, then we beat, I think, ECU. And then we beat Ohio um, Bobcats. And this right here is a real true test. A real, you see their 10th in passing offense, 15th in rush offense. Uh, and I'm just a little nervous. Little, little nervous, man. So hopefully we can somehow find success. Not really sure exactly how it's going to be going up against a top-tier team like this. You know, um, <clears throat> number 24, Northern Illinois. They were a little tough, but their overall was like 78. It wasn't like, This team is like 93 offense, 90. No, what was it? 91 offense, 95 defense. And I'm just, oh, my goodness. That is not what I signed up for. So... <clears throat> Hopefully we can continue the win streak. After this, we actually have a bye. So we can go ahead and get some much needed time off. So we go on ahead and start off with the ball. And let's see what we can do on defense. Now what was tough is that the uh, the uh, arena, the stadium was so loud that you couldn't see your hot routes. Unless you made like a handful of big plays back to back to back, to back consecutively. It would just be a whole bunch of lines squiggling. So, like, I couldn't see my routes. Oh, we had X open. We just stole it away, and we got hit right before. Uh, and uh, Cooper had a very good game last game. Standing in the pocket right here, decided to roll out. I see B. We throw it across the body, and it gets picked off. Not a good way to start the game. Remember, guys, in the comment section, if you guys would like to be the replacement QB that will be starting for another eight weeks since uh, Jack Goff is hurt, go on ahead and leave in the comment section any name you would like me to go on ahead and use. I'll randomly select somebody. Also, feel free to link in the description where it's going to say sign up here to play fantasy football for free. You click that, you sign in and or sign up, and right in the main lobby, you'll see the Mr. Golden Mutt Challenge. You have an opportunity to win an Xbox One or PS4 console. Make sure you guys check that out. So we end up getting the stop right there. No blocking whatsoever. So I'm like, okay, starting to feel a little confident that we got ourselves a stop defensively. Right there, we try to go to the corner, and Cooper is just not getting it together. I believe he's starting off 0 for 4 so far. Go over the middle. We got it, but he drops the pass, and now we are starting 0 for 5. You know, a team that's averaging 37 points a game. Really looking shaky right here. And Raven Wolf drops the interception. That would have been a major key. So we end up stopping their, their uh, second down play. So big third and ten. Let's see if we can force another turnover on downs. They go for the screen play. And we are there to go ahead and stop that. So uh, here we go with another one. Another opportunity to see if we can put some points on the board. Now, we have success running the ball. Cooper hasn't thrown an incomplete pass yet. We're struggling. <laughs> we're, we're struggling badly. We got to get something going against this defense. So we start off with the run to the left side, get a good gain of nine yards. Uh, Malloy coming through for us with a big gain right here. And I had wide, but just throw it out of bounds, man. Lift the fight another down. Third and one, we're just going to run the ball and barely by the skin of our teeth pick up the much needed first down. You can see our boy Marcos is extremely excited. So right here, another pass. Can we complete one over the middle and dots? Right there, Cooper gets his first completion of the game, the Sweetie Cheeks. Standing in the pocket, looks like he's in the rhythm. The Sweetie Cheeks cuts towards the pylon, and he hurdles in, and he ends up one die for you, boy. And the crowd silences his way down as I, for whatever reason, grab his butt cheek. Hey, they call him Sweetie Cheeks for a reason. As we go up seven 
to zero. That right there was a very, very, very big, big score. Getting our momentum on offense and not and not to mention our defense is playing really good. We went ahead. We haven't even allowed a first down yet. And that's where I figured I was going to struggle more, you know, on the defensive side of the ball. <coughs> so right there was a big stop. Here we go. with uh, He decides to take off, and Williams is so fast. So fast. Not only is he fast, he falls forward for two extra yards. So 32 right here. He decides to hit us with the triple option, and he gets several yards passing midfield, getting into plus territory. And he takes off once again. He's just he's fast. At this point, it's like, okay, we got to QB spy. We got to QB spy the guy. He's just taking off and it's very frustrating right there horribly missed tackle as he gets tackled within the 20 yard line another speed option and i manually go for the quarterback probably wasn't the best idea but i had to choose one or the other ah, as anthony williams goes on the head and gets in the end zone and ties up the game so that was terrible defense by us we had him on the ropes third down a few times but they end up converting and the speed option triple option read option <coughs> are absolutely killing us we got to go on ahead and find some type of answer for that so right here back on offense we go harambe leading the way as we go on ahead and pick up nine yards to the left and once we do that it was like you know let's attack the left again and we get another huge gain right there as malloy gets a 22 yard gain right here cooper decides to roll out those on the run and we get the completed pass to baranda <coughs> very big reception right there getting us in field goal range and then back to the run but this time they actually model us up Second and 12 right here. We need a big play. We're looking. Go towards the left side. And we do pick up the first down with Ryan Kim, who's actually having a pretty good year. We go to the wide receiver screen. Brenda breaks the tackle. And he could go. Uh, the hurdle is way in the end zone. As we end up taking the lead as Boranda comes through as Cooper throws his second touchdown of the game. Quick little wide receiver screen right there. Sheds the tackle. And they were closing in on me. So we got to go on ahead and hurdle just in case he had a diving effort. As we go on ahead and take the lead once again. Now the Hokies do get ball at halftime. So we don't want to go and put ourselves in a position to where we allow them to score. Get ball at halftime, score again. <coughs> and now we're looking at a deficit. So that is something we don't want. On third and eight, he decides to take off. And we stop him for only a one-yard gain. So this right here could potentially set us up to win. If we can score here and go up two possessions. This right here, biggest possession of the game. So Cooper standing in the pocket. Just a really quick wheel route to Malloy right there. Gets a four-yard reception. Another pass by Cooper really quickly to McCringleberry over there on the right side. Putting us in plus territory. Getting closer and closer to the... Oh, get down with yourself. Getting closer and closer to uh, field goal range. Cooper takes off. Nobody's open. And he fumbles. But thankfully... We're there to go on ahead and recover. Still looking for a big play. Second and 10 right here. And we get sacked. Third and 22. Now we need a huge play right here. And we find a receiver with Kringleberry, but he drops it. So we're forced to go on ahead and punt the ball. Only leaving them 10 seconds remaining. So we should go on ahead and head into halftime with a seven-point lead. So let's go to the halftime break, and we'll see you guys right after that. The defender had it, and then... That excites David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. This game's been everything we anticipated it being, each team matching each other blow for blow, just a one possession game at this point. What do you expect to change things in the second half? Well, it, it's always it's always fun to watch two teams and two games ma match up the hype. And we, we talk about it all week and how big this game is, and it's going to come down to players making plays. and. You know, the, the big play is something that we continue to beat into the ground, and which one doesn't give that up? A lot of times, you know, games are lost and won by turnovers and giving it away and making that crucial mistake. And he got all... So, as you can see, we've held them to only 23 passing yards, and our defense is playing fantastic, only allowing seven points, only allowing just a few hand uh, first downs. So, defense is playing really good, really struggling on the run here, only 50 rushing yards and... Uh, on so far on the year, we're having really good success on the, on the year with Malloy averaging about 118, 120 yards a game. And so far as a team, we only have 50. So hopefully we can go on ahead and again with the options as Williams takes off. And hopefully we can go ahead and have more success on the ground. Another option right here where Williams 
and each and every single read option is just gashing us for several yards at a time. So second and seven right here. Again, he takes off, and just when our defense is playing perfect, everybody is attended for and covered, he just takes off. And Williams, thankfully, for whatever reason, decides to go like a, a, a small dip, and, and he just takes off again. He's just taking off at will. Third and six right here. They decide to hand the ball off. Uh, really trusting their defense, you know, playing extremely conservative right there. We get the stop. We hold them to a field goal, so hopefully we can go on ahead and uh, go on ahead and go on ahead and get at least a field goal here to uh, preserve this seven-point lead that we had going into the half. So, running the ball right here, and Malloy gets a huge hole over there towards the left side, and that is the type of success we are used to. So, we go back to it on the left side. Malloy breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle, and gets another big gain. So, here goes Cooper right here. Just a really quick dump off to Malloy right there. Picks up a first down. As you can see, we're just moving the ball effortlessly at this point. So, right here, third down. Uh, no, third quarter, excuse me, with a little over a minute remaining. Look at the dot towards the back of the end zone. As Cooper throws another touchdown, his third on the day, finding Barunda once again. Clearly, you see they have a chemistry with one another, and this guy, Cooper, is finding Barunda in the end zone for the third time. What an absolute huge score. So now, <coughs> up 21-10, to 10, one more stop could potentially end this game. So another read option. We kind of stopped it right there somewhat. Only gave up two yards. And so just a quick handoff right You see me manually get pancaked right there. Another inside handoff right here. So here we go. Fourth quarter is after this play. After Williams hands it off to Williams. And no matter what Williams had the ball, they were all fast as almighty hell. <coughs> another run play, which we'll take that as long as it's not a huge, huge game. That's just keeping the clock rolling. And that's what we want. As he ends up throwing an interception to Pappy. Look at Pappy with the INT. Such a huge play. We went for the inverted veer, and I don't know what the hell I'm doing on that read right there. So, uh, next play, we go to the toss left side, and we can't get anything going. So, right here will be a great first down to be able to get to keep the clock rolling. A little play action right here. We're looking, we're looking. We get the pass off, and we throw a dart right over the middle of the field again. Cooper looking for Barunda. Whenever he's in a jam, he's looking Eric's way, and he is absolutely capitalizing on all of these targets as we go back to Malloy right there. Sets us up for a third and three as clock is tick, 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 ticking away. And right here, little play action. Cooper takes off and breaks the tackle. And then I'm trying to slide and it wouldn't let me. I'm trying to slide. It wouldn't let me. So I slide beyond, behind the line of scrimmage, fourth and inches. And Coach GS says we're going to go for it. We're going to chew up more clock as possible. <coughs> we're not going to settle for the three. We want those timeouts. So right here, we end up trying a quick end around with Sweetie Cheeks with his first uh, rushing attempt of the year. So they are now out of timeouts. Just a quick handoff as Malloy stumbles into the end zone for yet another Marshall score up 28 to 10 at this point. And defense has been looking extremely sharp. Started out very shaky on the offense side of the ball, but Cooper eventually got it together, striking pass after pass after pass to Barunda, and them two had themselves an amazing, amazing game. As Williams just chucks it up wide open over there on the left side, he ends up finding a receiver, <coughs> excuse me, for a 33-yard gain. Throws to the flats right there, but we are there to bottle that up. Again, they have no timeouts remaining, so pretty much going to need a miracle at this point for them to try and come back and win. They're going to have to score, get onside kick, score, get onside kick, score, and a lot of lot of onsides and scoring. <laughs> so uh, we would even like to not even give up points here, but unfortunately we do as we get hit deep over the top. So good job by them throwing it to Jerome Rogers, and what a beautiful pass as he's eaten. But unfortunately for them, there's only 36 seconds remaining, so they're going a legal touching right there. They're going to need to recover this onside, which they thankfully do not. Hugh Janus right here is going to try to make something happen. And um, unfortunately for us, he doesn't. But 31 seconds left. We're just going to go ahead and take our knees and head out of Hokie Village with a victory. So that right there was definitely making a statement. <coughs> huge, huge, huge game. Both sides of the ball. We played fantastic. And hopefully this right here gets us closer and closer to a bowl game. But even more being ranked. I would love to see if we can somehow get ranked as uh, you take a look at the stats. So 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, man. You can represent that by hitting the like button. It truly helps me out a lot. Not only does it help me out a lot, it definitely motivates me. The more likes I see, the more it makes me want to go on ahead and uh, prepare content for you guys. So uh, if you guys can take the extra second, you, you don't have to do a damn thing. You're already watching the video. Liking is extra. <laughs> That's why I'm so appreciative of the people that do take the extra step. I don't even like my own damn videos 98% of the time. <laughs> just because I'm a lazy bastard and that's why we all get along because I know y'all some lazy bastards that's why we get along so well <laughs> but for the people that do take the extra second to like the video man truly means a lot see you guys in the next video we have a bye week peace give it to me baby <laughs>